Hello, I'm Sassafras. Welcome back to the Introvert Circus. My dog Sirius is asleep on the floor. And today we are going to be doing another plan with me in my dog training planner. I'm gonna go through what I did last week and set up this week's goals. We're gonna talk about goal setting, why I like to do it, why I find it so beneficial in my relationship with my dog and the work that we're doing together and try to see if we can do some fun things this week. So I hope that you and your dogs had a fantastic weekend. It is super cold and rainy here in the Pacific Northwest, though it is snowing so much back east. Definitely, um, if you're new here, I used to live in New York City, not missing the thought of having to be out shoveling snow today, though I am sad series isn't getting to play in it. So that's what I'm to, but cozy in my Introvert Circus hoodie. Definitely check out our um, shop if you're interested in any dog sports apparel. We have both the Introvert Circus design as well as all kinds of fun agility, um, rally, barn hunt tricks, Newfoundland specific merch. So dog training planner, I'm gonna get going. What did we do last week? So I have um, this little clippy, super cute, one of my patrons sent it to me. It is a magnetic bookmark and I just like to put it on the week that we're on. So this was last week. And what did we get up to? We did pretty well, actually. So uh, if you're not familiar with this, this is my dog training planner that just released um, last month. It's February, oh my God, it released in January. Uh, it's undated, so you can begin it at any point. And we have um, the goal for the week. Last week's goal was fun, fluency, and cue fades. Definitely feel like we hit that. Um, and so these are some of the different skills that we were working on last week. Um, grooming and walk tracking, sets, uh, medication supplements, stretching, that kind of stuff, and notes. I had some notes that we actually started working on some new tricks or tricks that we hadn't worked on in a really long time uh, last week as well. But we did a lot of training, had a bunch of fun. I spent the weekend, I got to attend several sessions um, at Clicker Expo Live online. I really enjoyed Clicker Expo. This is my second time getting to attend some of their programming. The first time was in 2019 Sirius and I went together it was here in Portland and we had a blast and I really enjoyed the workshops I got to attend this year as well I'm going to be doing some writing about them for some publications which is why I was able to be there um, but definitely got my brain floating around with some cool fun ideas for things that I want to do things that I'm excited to incorporate into my training routine with Sirius. So definitely stay tuned for more of that. And let's get planning and see what we're going to be working on this week. All right, so this week, I think I'm just going to do a little bit of fun washi on the bottom, just because I like the decorative aspect of it. Um, if you have not already, please subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up. Definitely, you know, all those YouTube-y things. I really am pleased, oops, I throw my little bookmark, with how this paper has held up. I just use markers. Anything I have on my desk or in my training room when I'm working is just kind of what I use to record what we've been doing on a daily basis. And it's really exciting um, how well the paper takes all kinds of of ink, which was something that um, I was was important to me when I was creating this planner. All right, so this is the week of February first through seventh. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to goal. Um, it probably is going to be fun and fluency again, but we're gonna be doing basketball. We're working basketball a lot, both because we just got a new basketball hoop and because we have some fun. Um, work connected to that coming up soon. I'm going to do ring toss because we started working on that more this week. I'm going to keep, what did we do last week? Let's go back. We had basketball, reading, bow, and that was one I really wanted to work on getting off just onto a verbal cue and we've been working that really. It's been going really nicely. Um, I always like to do focus games in there. Um, we actually did hit our rally um, a little bit this week, and airplane we didn't do a lot of, but some of. So uh, I'm going to add focus in again. It's 
kind of one of my staples. It can mean lots of different things. And I, I feel like I didn't necessarily say this. Last week, um, I'm just going to kind of skip around a little bit, I think, as I'm put supplements. I'm going to put stretching. Um, I don't know why I put that at the end. Um, do I have anything else to put there? I don't think so. Um, but these are not necessarily all the things that we work on in a given week. You know, every time you are with your dog, every day is an opportunity to be spending quality time together. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually change this to positions instead of just bow because one of the things that sort of is my next step with now that it's on a verbal is adding in more um, fluid movements between between positions. We also did a bunch of weave pulls last week. We did lots of fun things last week and that's, that's totally part of it. Sometimes I make it a mention of it in the notes, sometimes I don't. Definitely this isn't all I work on, but this is the focus and I like to do this as a setup intentionally at the beginning of the week so that I can think about what are the things that I want to really put um, reading my emphasis on during the week. And it's the things that I will make sure that I make time to do, even if we're working on other skills, which we very likely um, are going to be because that's, you know, that's what we do. We spend lots of time together. We spend lots of time training together. Um, and I think, what else did I put in my notes that we did? Oh yeah, I, we started teaching eye cover again. I'm gonna add eye cover. because she actually doesn't know it. And that's fun too, to add in tricks that she doesn't know or that we like ring toss, we have done a little bit with, but we haven't done really anything with it in a very long time. Uh, and so last week I started adding it in again and it was so cool to see her fluency with the trick just boost. So I think again, this week I'm going to pick for my goal, it's gonna be fun. It's going to be verbals. It's going to be fun, verbals. I said fluency in Q-Fade last week. I think fun and verbals here is what we're going to focus on and new stuff. And that will be kind of the driving energy that I'm bringing into all of our training sessions that we have together during the week. Um, and what have we already done? Oh, it's Monday morning. We have gone for a walk. We have had our supplements. I don't think I can check anything off. We did some focus games, so I can't check that off. And I can't check anything else off yet, but it's only the morning. So I hope that made sense. It gave a little bit more clarity about how I use it. Again, we work all kinds of things. I just like to pinpoint in here, what are the things I'm really putting my focus on for the week? If life gets busy, I suddenly find myself on a bunch of deadlines. I don't have as much time as I thought I was gonna have to work on skills. What do I wanna make sure in the time that I'm working with my dog intentionally that we put focus on? And that's where this came in and where I can start to really see that progress. I can go back and I can see, you know, oh, week before last, we actually didn't work on rally at all and we only did basketball two days. That was something I wanted to really shift because I knew that we have some work coming up that involves basketball as a trick. And so I needed to make sure that I had put the work in with my dog so that we could both be successful for this project that we're working on where I really wanted her to be confident, excited, and have a lot of fluency with that behavior with a brand new prop. So we put that work in and I can see it pay off. It's completely paid off. And that's the thing. It doesn't take hours and hours and hours drilling things. Take a few seconds, a couple of minutes working on any of these skills with your dog and you're going to be able to see some really fun progress. So let me know if you've been using the planner. I've been getting tagged in super cute pictures on social media. Definitely if you're using it, please tag me and I will share out your adorable pup pictures with the planner. I'd love to know how it's working for you. Um, the link is in the description box below as always where you can get the print copy of it. it. has this beautiful matte cover that's really nice to touch. Also, there's a link for a PDF, um, a purchasable PDF download if you would prefer to print it out on your own. 
and resize it or put it in a binder. I've seen people do really cool things. They're gonna laminate it, put it on their fridge, all kinds of cool things. So that is an option as well. I hope that you and your dogs are having a fantastic time. I hope that you are staying safe and warm if you are in the path of that East Coast snowstorm. And we will see you in another fun video very, very soon.